Hey gang, welcome to today's video. Welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. This is a full day of eating. I am an intuitive eater. That means that I do eat what my body is wanting and needing in each moment. That took me a lot of years to get the hang of. You can't expect to overcome certain eating issues right away by intuitively eating. You really do have to learn how to get in tune with your body, figure out what your body's signals are. I do have other videos on my channel that can help better explain that, so please do check those out. Please hit that subscribe button down below so you get all the future videos that explain that. I have maintained a healthy weight this way. I eat mostly paleo. While paleo may seem like just another buzzword made up by the diet industry, this trendy plan focuses on eating the whole foods that have kept humans healthy for centuries. The core principles are simple. Absolutely no processed food, dairy or refined sugars. If your Stone Age ancestors didn't eat it, neither should you. So today I'm out and about. I have a meeting at a retirement home to talk about the health and wellness things that I do. I will be in search of a new laptop because, you know, YouTube, you take up a lot of space. I need some better equipment. I'm still running the same laptop I bought years and years and years ago. They don't even sell it anymore. So yeah, I'll be shopping for that. Anyway, let's get into this video. Here's what I have for breakfast, and I have no idea what I'm having for the rest of the day. We'll find out as we go along. Make sure you peel the avocado instead of scooping it because the dark green part contains the most nutrients. Case best non-bloaty protein powder ever, 80 calories, 16 grams of protein. The only ingredients are sprouted brown rice protein, organic natural vanilla flavor, and organic stevia for sweetening. What more could you ask for? I'm back. I had breakfast at 8 a.m. My tea was at 8.30 a.m. I started getting hungry at 12.30. So that's why I have such a big breakfast, intuitive eating. When you do intuitive eating, you're eating enough of the healthy fats and proteins. You don't have to do the measuring and the portion, you know, that really anal focusing on how much you're eating and all of that stuff. I just eat what I know that I need. So I was full till 12.30. Then I had smoothie number two that I showed you this morning. It is now 1.11. So I've got apple, healthy pop. This is Zevia. Let me tell you the ingredients. Carbonated water, stevia leaf extract, tartaric acid, natural flavors, caffeine, and citric acid. So not the absolute best, most optimally healthy thing. Neither am I, 80-20. This is my pop of choice. I was a Coca-Cola lover. So that's how I deal with that and always water. So this is what I'm gonna do now. Have the meeting with the guy and I'll catch up with you next time I decide to eat something. All right, so left that meeting. I'm now gonna have this Quest Bar, 21 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, certified gluten-free. The ingredients on here, again, much like myself, not 100% optimally healthy, but delicious. 
So here's what the macros look like. 14 grams of fiber in here, one gram of sugar, 21 grams of protein, five grams of fat, only 180 calories for 21 grams of protein. This is bomb. I love all of the Quest bars. So that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna go head out to a new gym that is opening supposedly this Wednesday. Check that gym out, see when it's opening, talk to that guy, and I'll see you later. I'm back home again. It's not time for dinner. It is time for a snack. It's about 3.30 right now. This bread I found at Longo's. Unbelievably delicious. Stone melt, slow crafted, authentic sourdough rye with organic flaxseed in it. If somebody, not a celiac person, but somebody that has a sensitivity to gluten, like myself, eats sourdough, it is not that bad for you because the souring process of the dough, if it is authentic sourdough, breaks down the protein gliadin found in gluten, which is the cause of the gluten problems for many. Yes, there are things like pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, chemicals and such that do cause sensitivities as well. So for my snack, I am having a slice of that. I may have some yogurt, berries and ungranola as well. but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. For now, definitely a slice of this delicious bread. We are back. I think the last thing I ate was that piece of bread. It was amazing. Okay, so this is one of my favorite snacks. It's also what I have either as a before bed snack or as a dessert because it is quite healthy for you. But Greek yogurt, this one, Scottodacus. Okay, if you're Greek, I apologize that I just completely probably butchered that. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darison bite. Let's go to Terrace and those for the bit. They have the pit. But it's really, really thick. It's delicious. So I like that brand. Even the 0%, pretty thick. Cacao nibs. I repurposed the Bath and Body Works candle jars because they have the rubber sealing on the inside of the lid. So, handy. This is ungranola. I'm gonna put a photo on the screen here of what brand it was. I can't remember because I put it in here, but it's just like granola, full of nuts, almonds, coconut flakes. There is no oat or grain in it, so it's better for your gut. Delicious. Berries, strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries because some of us want it all. This is date syrup. So much better for you. The ingredients are 100% organic dates. Obviously, this is from HomeSense because everything is from HomeSense. And as soon as I said HomeSense, she got so excited. And look at this awesome thing. And then powdered peanut butter. This is the no sugar added version. So powdered peanut butter, you're not getting as much of the healthy fat. So I'm not necessarily suggesting that this is better than all natural peanut butter. I do think you should use all natural peanut butter. You're a fake and a phony and I wish I'd never laid eyes on you. But I like the powdered stuff for ease of throwing into smoothies and stuff like that. So this is what I'm using. 90% less calories from fat. So that's not a good thing if it's healthy fats. You want all those fats. But just as an example, for two tablespoons, which would be 200 calories with a natural peanut butter, this is 45 calories for two tablespoons and six grams of protein. You're only getting 1.5 grams of fats though, so hmm, I'm gonna whip this up.
Doesn't that look delicious? I'm actually not gonna use the cacao nibs, date paste, or powdered peanut butter right now because I just want this as a little snack because I'm about to make dinner quite soon. So I don't wanna get too full. By the way, the protein on this yogurt, one serving, 18 grams of protein. Crazy. So this is what it's gonna be for now. And uh, I'll catch you at dinner time. It is dinner time, so I am going to have potato, sweet potato fries in the air fryer. I am cooking for two, so there's white potato as well that's going to be mashed. We are having raised without antibiotics, chicken breasts, broccoli, peas, extra peas in case these aren't enough for two, and gluten-free gravy to either pour over everything or dip the chicken in. Yeah, I know what healthy is. We're gonna use these pots for some of it. Instant pot for one potato for the mash, air fryer for the fries. It's gonna be quite the production, but here we go. I'm, I'm feeling slightly nervous. So the chicken is in the frying pan. I put garlic powder, paprika, and thyme leaves on the chicken. Delicious. This is the gluten-free gravy. Got peas and broccoli in there. The air fryer is going with my sweet potato fries. The white mashed potato will be going in here. That's where we're at. I accidentally left my sweet potato fries in the air fryer for a bit too long, so they're kind of crispy, but that's fine. They'll still be delicious. Here's the gravy, nice and thick chicken gravy. This chicken, because of the seasonings I put on, it almost looks breaded. It is cooked to perfection. Juicy, delicious, meh, veggies are veggies, you know. So this is my finished plate oh my yum that looks amazing it is six on the dot right now gonna have dinner at six i might have some dessert later i might go to the gym for a little bit but we don't know yet we'll see anyway gonna eat this if i end up having dessert it would likely be a blended banana with some cacao powder some maple syrup some dairy-free milk Sometimes I put granola and the date syrup on top of that. I'm not really feeling dessert as I did have quite a full day. I didn't do much activity today, so I'm not as hungry today as other days. But that is just an example of what I would have for dessert. Here is a photo of that so that you can at least see it. So that's my full day of eating. I know it's not incredibly exciting. It does change day to day based on what I'm up to, what I'm out and about doing. I often grab food on the go. I have lots of tips and tricks on how to stay healthy no matter where you're at, including airports, which I will be hitting up in May. I am going to be talking about healthy ways of travel as I do take a trip to Arizona, to Sedona. So stay tuned for that. Please do hit the subscribe button down below. That really is where the support does come from. If you thought this video was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, please do give it a thumbs up down there for me as that does help support it too and lets me know to continue creating content like this. Please click that little bell notification icon if you would like notifications of the next time I do post any new videos. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun enjoying all the food that you eat in a day. You don't need to be trying to copy anyone else's diet. Just eat in a way that makes your body feel your best. And I'll see you next time. Bye.